High blood pressure is the most and easiest preventable cause for cardiovascular disease. That's why we are so emphatic about screening for high blood pressure, treating high blood pressure, because we know that it's so simple to identify and to treat. It's called the silent killer because you're necessarily gonna have symptoms when you have high blood pressure. There's no symptoms. Some patients might have some, but the majority of the patient with high blood pressure do not know that they have high blood pressure unless somebody checks the blood pressure. Why do we worry so much about high blood pressure or hypertension as part of the cause of cardiovascular disease? As an example, we use the pressure that the vessels are experiencing when the blood flow is going out. That is called the systolic blood pressure or the top number. When the, pre the pressure that those walls are experiencing when the heart is relaxing is the bottom number that is called diastolic blood pressure. We know that high blood pressure has been related to cardiovascular disease. So whenever we see patients with high blood pressure, we know that those patients are gonna have a higher tendency of developing plaque in their arteries. And if we can control that blood pressure, then we can reduce the chances of uh, forming plaque and also helping with the elasticity of their arteries. Patients with low blood pressure can go for a range from, this is completely normal, for a range that you should see a provider or a specialist because there might be something wrong with you. The best thing to know if this is something that I should worry about is number one, do you have symptoms with your low blood pressure? You know, do you feel okay with low blood pressure? Because we all have different blood pressures, you know. If you are um, an athlete or you're young, you tend to have lower blood pressure. So our blood pressure fluctuates, it depends of the person, what their diet is, what they do, how much they do, how less, how little they do. We know that we use uh, a top number of um, 140, the systolic blood pressure, as kind of like the upper limits of um, normal. Beyond that is hypertension, but we don't have a low number that we can say, this is too low. No, we always said symptoms. Are there any symptoms related to that? We all, symptoms that we're looking for are mostly, I'm lightheaded, I feel very short of breath, or I don't have any energy to do anything. More often than not, we can take care of it, interestingly enough, I do, you know, as a cardiovascular especially, we deal with the extremes. Now we can, we can deal with the very low blood pressure, very high blood pressure, or in between. But it's funny when I had to tell my patients with low blood pressure, please eat salt. That is what's going to help your blood pressure to come up. And it's, it's funny when it comes from a cardiologist, I say, you know, out of, out of 100 patients that I see, 99, I'm telling them, do not eat salt. And then to you, I'm like, please eat salt. There's very simple things that we can do. Of course, you want to discuss with your provider if this is appropriate for you or not.